morning sunshine. The earth says hello. hello. Final Fantasy peasants. Hello guys. Hello. Rebirth part 16. 16, 16 episodes. Already. Yeah man. Two regions almost completed. Are you proud of me Bree? It's the most completionist I've been in a in an yeah, era. A bit surprised. <laughs> Yeah, but missed out yesterday streaming because we went on to a little excursion, a little adventure. We almost died in a cave. We almost died in a cave. We went into a deep, dark cavern. It was a good time. So uh, we woke up at like six. We scooped the pooted to a waterfall, and no one was around. We even got to the. Usually they take like a little service charge for the waterfall. No one was even there to it was collect. It's very early. So we go down going down the big steps and then bam big demonic fountain spitting out water very cool it was we're walking across like little Eesh. jump stones this koi or yeah they were koi right yeah koi just swimming There's about them. there are so many little eesh. cave mouths with trickling water giant mossy near automata like rocks as you turn the bends with hanging vines a mystery world lost to the Jurassic era until we went and we saw the waterfall cleaners <laughs> yeah. but we go through we turn onto a big waterfall we go across a bridge then we're going through the jungle we're climbing up Bree's hobbling up with her sling down which is healing up nicely yeah and then we see a uh, we see a sign hello Jenna Lems, Kemi Zantar, Andy, what's good, Ken? Did you say Jamalams? Jamalams? Jamalams. Jamalams. Have a chalk way. Yeah, I thought that that's what you were saying. <laughs> uh, we see a sign, 50 meters to a cave. But you've got to go across, you know those, where there's little precarious uh, wet rocks in a stream. You've got to go across a rope. Prue was like, no, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing it. I didn't want to but do with it. a little bit of peasanty charm and persuasion and peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah. That's all it was. Got Brie across the river. Anyway, we're then climbing up a steep, muddy bank. And we see the cave mouth just drop down. And I'm like, this is just going to be one of those, you know, you just go in and it's just like a little bit of an open cave section. You this just... motherfucker was talking about spelunking. Like, we saw, like, the first opening of the cave. He's like, you think we could go in there? And me and Ginger were both like, absolutely not. In no, that moment, I was just no. like, uh, how hard can spelunking be? No. Squeezing through crevices. You know, me with my camera, like, through a tight hole. No, oh, guys. Anyway, it was even cooler than that. We head down into the cave. And this thing was like a crypt. It was. Like, you know those big labyrinthial crypts beneath Paris? There was no lights. No lights. Dark. We're heading through. Yeah, your breath is steaming. Oh, no, this this music is not setting the ambiance I want. <laughs> We're creeping through. It's pitch black. Only a little torchlight to go. <sighs> the walls start closing in. We're getting narrower and narrower. We're, 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 we're scooting. We're scuttling like little scarabs. And then you know, it goes to like little doorways with, you know, like tiny like narrow like channels and this goes on for a good 10 minutes and we're just heading deeper and darker breeze losing her nerve jin saying we don't know how deep it goes we don't know how deep it goes the dwarves they mine too deep and too greedily i uh, expecting the fucking balrog to show up at some point i'm like come on guys let's keep going Anyway, these two are eventually just like absolutely www.note.com and some of the caves just got even sketchier. So I was like, okay, you guys stay here. I'll head on alone. So I can head on alone. We get to a little opening. And you know, like, um, I mean, it's happened a few times. There was like one of them and there was like two of them. And then it was like fucking Dark Knight, Batman moment. You know, we're just like a column of like bats. I mean, there weren't a column. There were like three. <laughs> But to me, it was like a column of vampire bats. So I, I was like, oh, fucking no. Oh, fucking no. I'm running. I'm running back. I'm like, let's get out of here. I was like, actually, no. It's, the bats are maybe clear. I think once we get through this batty point, we'll be fine. So I head back again. That trapping. 
get back, and then no. <laughs> Fucking bats, and then we just scoot out of there. But what a cave that was. I was worried about getting bat aids. That was absolutely glorious. And then we head to another little waterfall. I tried to fly my drone. I crash it. It hits a tree. It falls down. I'm having to try to whack weeds down to try to get my drone back. Getting bitten by ants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. An army of ants came in ate Bree's Trip. foot. Um, oh, and then Bree, unfortunately, had to go back to work. Mm. So then me and Ginge, we, we, had a, we had a date scene. We had a date scene. Me and Ginge had a little golden saucer date. Our relationship deepened. <laughs> we uh <laughs> Ginger's now gone from slightly downturned face. I think yeah, if I L one on Ginge now, he's now neutral. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, so then we go to what's called the uh Pura Temper Empore Purification Temple. And uh yeah, we walk in there, amazing statues. I go, I get a sarong on, I free my nips. And they've just got like these series of baths spouting out water. And you queue up and you get in the holy baths and you you splash, you splash, you do you douse your head, you keep going. Some of the motherfuckers were drinking it though. A bath that's had like uh, at least two thousand people that day in especially it. Especially not in Bali. With fish, people just like <sighs> Not in Bali. Bad idea. I still saw them like down in this stuff. Ugh. Anyway, that was really cool. I, I got really into the headset of it. I was like, water, man. The bringer of life. The OG element that substantiates our existence. I got very grateful. I was like, oh, I'm grateful for water. Water, you're all right, mate. You're all right, water. I can't believe we take it for granted. Even this water, water bottle. Water bottle. This water bottle. This be grateful for water, guys. Not everyone has it, you know. So anyway, we do that. And then, oh, I didn't really show you, but they started doing this, like, big parade. And there's some big, like, hairy, shaggy demon creature. Shaggy demon. Like, walking around the temple. Yeah. Well, we had a bin tank. They serve fucking beer in the holy temple. <laughs> Seems wrong. I mean, it does. And I said to Ginge, uh, and he was like, they do do that, mate. I was like, imagine going to church and them serving you alcohol. And he was like, yeah, it's called wine, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jesus. Um, that was cool. And then me and Ginge ended up getting foisted down to a plantation. And this is where our relationship really deeper. I'm describing our date, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had some pretty good date mechanics. Got a load of samplers of coffee. Guy explained how it's made, took us down. Showed us the whole plantation. It, it was all very, very nice. So this this was a lovely day yesterday. It sounds nice. This is why I was missing seven. Close the door, son. It's so loud. But Close the door, son. As you know, with all good things comes a bad wave. And the bad wave came. So me and Ginge, we hop in the pool. And then smash, we hear a boxing massive car crash accident outside of our place. Someone's laid out flat on the curb. It's a whole mess. Everyone's going and rushing out there. I mean, Ginge was... We're not, yeah, well, I mean, there was loads of people there. So we're kind of soggy. And then Ginge, the plinky plonker. Don't make it sound like... He's only make gone... dramatic, don't make Basically, it sound. one of our villas... I'm not going to make it sound dramatic. It looks fucking dramatic. We've got villas with concrete steps, a massive, massive column... Ginger's just gone, whoop, and he is just like a weeble. He's just bounced like a slinky. <laughs> I said he kind of looks like, you know, when a daddy long legs is drowning in water, or you know, when Sam's falling down the yeah, steps. Yeah, that sounds better, Sam, not a daddy long legs in water. Yeah, Sam seems worse. Ginger's just twatted himself down the stone stairs, and he's injured himself as well. We uh, can't see it that oh. long, but- it was yeah, on camera it doesn't show up. Yeah, I don't really do it justice. It's pretty house. nasty. Yeah. yeah. And his, his bumble. And his anus is injured. His so, anus is bleeding. Yeah, Ginge has had a fall, so has Bree. And we're the pair of numpties. It's your Tweedle D, Tweedle Dumb. Bro, then your sister fell over. Well, I said things come in threes. Things come in threes, and no less. And what's kind of weird about it, like Five minutes later, and we've worked out they had the same accident. My twin sister has also just gone and totally bashed and mashed her shin up. And she's also got now like a huge 
bloody bruised fractury looking thing on her shin threes the power of threes or maybe that wasn't the third one maybe it's still coming for you who will super chat um maybe it's the top. yeah That's what what correct. color would people have to super chat for you to show your ass injury oh definitely at least a hundred dollars is that orange i'm not sure yeah 100 is red That's red rain Red Rain and Jin shows his ass. No, don't, because I know he won't. I know he won't do it. Do 500. I'll show you one. <laughs> it depends where it's positioned. How close to the hole is it? It's not. It's on the side. Oh, it's on the side. Oh, that's all right then. So anyway, got back and lo and behold, with all of that happening, shenanigans and, and Brie being a massive PlayStation hog. I'm not hogging. Oh, Brie. I only play when you're not streaming. She is mashing through. I only stuff. play when you're not streaming. Well, that's why I didn't make it to the rebirth stream yesterday, but we're going to make up for it you today. You can't blame me for your lack of streams. You, I don't play unless if you're not playing. I can and I will. I was a bit sleepy anyway. <laughs> I'm getting into that sleepy mode, traveling. <laughs> So, yeah, this is our last day here, so I might not be streaming tomorrow. We're moving off uh, down south to a cool little resort thing. Um, Bree just keeps laughing at me. I'm excited about breakfast. I'm so excited about breakfast. Breakfast. This next place, we have our breakfast included. And Bree, she's just not getting the joy of that. Bree's the kind of motherfucker, right? We went to Xiaomen, China. We paid above board for our hotel. We did it. All inclusive. No, we didn't. Breakfast, yes, we did. We it was like it was like sixty quid for that hotel. Yeah, no, so. it was not. All right, well, you we paid, paid anyway. Like Twenty five. Bucks. It doesn't matter how much you pay. <laughs> if there's free breakfast downstairs, you get the breakfast. But read the kind of motherfucker she will sleep in. Said? She will sleep in. He said the kind of motherfucker. He didn't. Ooh, I thought he said the sea. I thought he's been listening. To no, if, if he called me the sea <laughs> word, he would get. One of these. Who doesn't go down to breakfast when there's all the breakfast you can eat? Somebody who's sleepy. Fucking diabolical. <laughs> Fucking diabolical. <laughs> Fucking diabolical. Yeah, we watch too much boys. The boys. Did you keep, think, did you keep saying about right everything? Now. If you watch the boys, you know. Every time I think of milk, I feel sick lately. Oh. Even after he fell down, fell down the stairs, he got up and he's like, "Fuck diabolical." <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's get this playthrough on the road. Have fun. Ciao, ciao, Bree. Ciao, ciao. Have a good one. It work. It work. Whatever you work. may be doing. So we've almost completed a tremendous amount. So, do you want some avocado coffee? Oh yeah. So when we went, when we went to this plantation, guys, got a little bit of arak, thirty percent jackfruit flavor. Very nice. A little pack of mangosteen. And <clears throat> I would not have suspected it, but the avocado coffee was the best coffee. Have any of you guys ever had it? Avocado coffee. Now, I kind of would have... You know, if I imagine the taste of avocado mixed with coffee, horrible. But supposedly they don't actually use the fleshy part of the avocado. They use the, the fat old nut in the middle. And it gives it this sweet, rich banana flavour and it's all done very pleasant it's all very, very pleasant my fellow coffee aficionados um, can confirm it is good wait is there something attacking me? I just heard just heard the live stream owl alright anyway we're going to be on to the Mount Coral region very soon I've just realised I've only got these three to quickly bash out before we have come Completed this whole area. So I'm very excited just to quickly nobble that out. Uh, also, was anyone here for Alexander? I did Alexander on full might at this point. And I said to Bree, right? Oh my god, that Alexander fight was one of the most fulfilling, satisfying, fun, strategic, epic fights and what i said to brie is i'm really loving my stream right now you guys you pop in you say you know what dude i i don't mind watching you struggle on you no know, trying to get the summons difficult i saw a few people say yo this is cool seeing somebody take alexander down this way you know 
without just revivering cheesing or without just dropping the difficulty. I appreciate the hell out of that, man. Okay. Need the phoenix, phoenix again. Uh, which side is it? There's two sides. What did Charlie just say? Remember to praise B to Yevon. Um, and yeah, I'm just loving that you guys are on board with those fights and you're there celebrating the shit out of it. It's just hype. It's just hype. I love it. And and the difference, guys. Because I said to Bree, like when she cleared it and she obviously lo she lowered the difficulty. And I said to her, oh, how did you find the light pillars? Like clearing them. What was your strategy for clearing them? Bree just simply went, the what? The what? And there it is, guys. That's exactly why I like these struggles. It's exactly why I like to either handicap myself or not use every like thing the game offers you as a way to beat a fight. Because Bree did that fight early, early, like lesser gear than me, and she just went the what? So basically, she didn't even know the light pillars existed. So she took often two, three stacks of karma. And she said, yeah, the Divine Judgments just never really killed me. She was always good. So, got like, <laughs> core fundamental mechanics of a boss being able to be ignored. Yeah, I don't like that, really. I, I prefer what I had to do, which was create an intricate, wild, like, planned out methodical approach to dealing with those uh, fucking light pillars. <laughs> but that's just my playstyle, mate. That's just me. The what? <laughs> the what? Did she assess them? Cloud, your combat data has revealed the location what, of Alex? the flare lurking in the Junon region. It's said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot Brain? turn a blind eye to this threat. Right. Eldritch horror. What does the word eldritch mean? Ah, uh, we got 69 viewers in the house. Hello, everyone. Can we get 69 likes as well? The power of 69 is fueling this stream. Yum, yum, yum. Right. Okay, we are so close to getting a whole region done. Um, I'm hoping there's like fireworks and. Some honeybee in bitches come and do some things. Uh, I want there to be a great deal of fanfare. Yeah, Eldritch Horror, what he's describing, yeah. Mind Flare was where my mind went to. Ah, Phoenix Sanctuary. Ah, okay. Kind of no real point doing this now. The Phoenix. Wait, have I f Yeah, I've done Phoenix. What are you talking about? Yeah, I've done Phoenix. It was a great fight. Circle X, X, circle! Circle X, X, circle! Circle X, X, cycle! Is that good enough? What region are we in? Junon. I've only got three things left to do. Yeah, I know. What did you guys do for uh, summons? I don't know. Or just for your playthrough as a whole. How hard did you well done. try to make your playthrough? Do you just do it for story? You. And, and you don't want to be held up? No doubt be that much more How many wipes in your playthrough of Rebirth so far do you think you've had? I'm probably at, at least. I mean, obviously the summons are the ones who have just taken the most. What, 30? 30? 20? 30? Something like that. Alright, uh, head to a Wainwright's heart. Flare down there is quick to get to. How do I get to Wainwright's heart? I think we've got to go down there. Oh, 
probably just up here. Yes, yes. Yeah, Eldritch, strange or unnatural, especially in a way that inspires fear. Uh, Green White's Hut, is this going to loop round to the left side? Or? Or? Wait. That takes me back into the Mithril Mine. Is the hut. Yeah, no. <laughs> the hut isn't back in the mine. I'm guessing. Does anyone know how I get to Wayne Royce? Or. Can't wait until I can get a flappy flying chokey. Uh... Uh, Pella, are you ever going back to the UK? So, I'm thinking of going back after uh, South Korea. Spend Christmas with my people. Um, I'm even considering maybe working in the UK. Uh, for maybe six months. Just because I've got some accelerated property purchasing plans that I want to wanna hurry up with. <clears throat> but yeah, the UK, we're going to be back on the agenda. Oh god, is it up and around here for the hut? Did you set up the fast travel with the choco chick? Yes indeed sir, I've been hitting the choco chick stops. I don't feel like it'll be back up here but I can't see any other way to get up there. How long are you going to be in Korea? Uh, I imagine it'll just be a, a short, shorter trip, two or three months. Man, did I miss getting up to this hut from up here? If so, that's annoying, but if it's not... <laughs> Players, why the travel loss? What inspired it? Uh, the song that Gandalf sings? The road goes ever on and on Down from the door where it will go now far ahead The road has gone that I might follow if I can Gandalf basically I was up here I think No it's not Man this is so freaking confusing Wait, maybe Wayne White's hut is around here. <laughs> now, nah, in all honesty, um, for whatever reason, adventure and chaos is kind of... It's just built into my blood, really. And it's going to sound weird to some, I guess, but I genuinely feel in my heart of hearts it's part of my my own... My, 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 my spirit, basically, gains a lot from it. It was something that just kept reoccurring in my mind. Thought of trying to somewhat detach from this game of overhuman, like, ongoings. Like, there's another part to us, a more primitive side to us, that is uh, nomadic. If I, honestly, if anything, it's <laughs> probably something subliminal FF7 planted when I was a wee boy. But. I really love the theme in FF7, and I say it actually inspires a core part of me, where it's curious that, you know, the Cetra are like these very powerful, high, spiritual, um, kind, compassionate race, or that's how they're kind of presented to us. And they just kept traveling the planet. They kept moving around. Um, and I do think, like, seeing other cultures and being in nature and is very nourishing, and I think there's a study that said it kind of increases emotional intelligence as well but it's curious isn't it that when the Cetra settled down that's when they lost their powers that's in FF7 when humans came around and I can see why home is a beautiful thing but it's also uh, it places limitations it's an environment in which your ego can construct a little sub-reality that you can shape 
in whichever little neurotic egotistical manner you want and there's little that can challenge that bubble there's little that can go wrong there's little sti like i feel like it lessens the amount of stimulus that comes into your life and the amount of growth that you can catapult out from it i also feel like when you're always in home and home mode any kind of dark or trauma arcs that you go through any battles or arguments or you know, strife or it, it gets trapped up i don't believe that a room like stores energy like literally but i think even just psychologically you know um, how our minds like they're so elaborate and complex and symbolic that the way it pins to environment is is remarkably powerful and i think sometimes just severing that tie even just for a little while just go on a little excursion go on a little travel yourself um a small weekend trip anything to help you it's always very cool we're trying to fix gabe's cart that's the no, the long-winded so answer looking for parts short one well, is gandalf you'll have to come back tomorrow or the day after i'm too tired to help you right now hmm think a swift <clears throat> kick could get him up Wake him gently, wake him with mad art. Oh, of course, wake him with magic. <laughs> Always wake him with magic. Wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? Uh, scared me half to death. <sighs> He's a sleepy man. You want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what Oh, don't on that make list. me foist around. I say we get his ass up. <laughs> we get his ass up. Oh no, not a sniffing. <sighs> Wait, so where in the... F Where's the notes? Man, so they're doing a whole region of... Oh, you asshole, Wainwright. You absolute douche. So, I mean, where is that in relation to the map? I cannot even tell, Captain. I'm just a peasant. I can't read maps. Okay, well, it's clearly down here, right? Right? No. Yes? <laughs> Was it round here? Oh, wait, because there's a remnant wave tower there. Is it up in this area? Either way, fuck it. I'm gonna go kill this mind flare real quick. What? What? Absolute cheese. Hmm. Peasant, don't get mixed up with the North and the South Korea. What's the difference? I don't think there's any any difference. <laughs> right. Doops off. Let's read my We drag them around ancient temples and ruins and stuff. I love all of that stuff. And you know what? I think that Mother Nature is one of the best architects. Like humans have got pretty good at it. And you know, seeing like big castles and palisades and amazing buildings or like ancient bathhouses or those like, really cool, you know, no aqueducts, ancient aqueducts like. They're all awesome. But also at the same time. The way that nature carves out crazy intricate mountain shapes, cave systems, rivers, how how forest ecology grows and I, I love it. I love it. Me personally, I think uh, I think Gaia is still the better architect, so. I was never really much of a naturey person, but I don't know if it's old age <laughs> or just uh, finally experiencing it, but I, I love the outdoors, man. Unfortunately, it conflicts somewhat with being a cave dwelling gamer. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll get onto this boat and kill a eldritch horror. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniffy sniffy!
Imagine if a, a gold scent trail just led straight to Barrett's sweaty ass. That's what the choke he's picking up on. Damn, Barrett, you stay. Right. Is that part of this Wainwright nonsense? No, no, it's just some random medals. Cool. Weed chills my weed sleep every day. Hobbits are awesome. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how hobbits kept good temperament. Because uh, if I did that all day, every day, I don't know. I mean, I have done that every day sometimes. And it gets me really low energy. And then I kind of get like a bit cranky. I get very cranky. I don't know how the hobbits... Well, actually, no, the hobbits are pretty cranky. What am I saying? They're mad cranky now, I think about it. Like, there's that dude and his wife, you know, the dude with the pumpkin. And they're just always, like, frowning at people, getting annoyed. Oh. Some this? This is my smoothie from yesterday. It's kind of goopy, but... It's very thick and gelatin. It's tasty, though. It's Ooh, healthy. Passion fruit. Oh, yes, passion fruit. Mm. Papaya. 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 And orange. Aguacate. Papaya. Papaya. Defeat the mind flayer. How do you know I was doing the mind flayer? It says it at the top. Oh, engage enemy. Okay. It says it at the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I have it... to work now, but I want to be Okay. Have goods. Have good works. Oh, <laughs> just to smack her fractured arm. Nice, nice. Luckily, it's not on the spot that's fractured. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, music slapping. Oh, let's go. Those delicious. Oh, wow, that's a cool looking mind flare. All those delicious. I never know what the fuck May is saying with this combat music. <laughs> Did he just. He just dipped out my SS. What a fiend. Alright. Landing synergies will. Pressure it. Did you want one? Grim tech follow. Oh. Mm. 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 Spit of fruit mm. for you. Mm. 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 Okay, I have to push it. Oh man, this mind flare sucks. He's a total noob. It's your turn. You're in tech. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fucking dope thing. Do some ice and jitsu, why not? That's an explosion. Oh, no, it's not. Now. Oh, God, okay, okay, fool. Can I do up in the air? Yeah. I'm not going to heal because it's going to make it funner. No heals. No heals. Oh, God. Wait, why am I not using Spellblade? That's the fizzle. Taking the hits, taking it to the dome. What am I doing? Oh, I want to do Spellblade. I biffed it. Don't stop now. Come on, team. I need to be using air, so I need to. Uh, I need to do team attacks. Oops. Let's 
go do a few. Wow, 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 wow. Is that it? Come on. One more shot. Uh, let's build Aerith up. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's build Cloud so we can make the most when we pressure him. Where was this from? Psychotic Break. Alright, that seems really powerful. I'm just going to go far with Blade now. Let's hope to God my team does not die. I really did. Did he just use them? Um... <laughs> what did he just use on you? Psychotic break! I thought my Firework Blade synergy team attack would interrupt him. Oh boy. Oh boy! At least the guy that gave us a fucking pain in um, Stranger Paradise as well. Oh yeah, the Mind Flares and Stranger Paradise. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were dicks at times. Lag. Is it lagging, guys? If anyone else? Make sure my VPN hasn't. Uh, connected. Murphy's Law. Ginge, do you know what Murphy's Law is? If it can happen, it will happen. Is that it? More or less. Is it? Is it simply anything that can happen will happen or anything that can go wrong will go wrong? I think it just can happen, will happen. <laughs> there was a law, I was watching a film on the plane called Contact. Contact? Yeah, and it's basically like the old, it's basically like similar to Interstellar. Mm -hmm. And it's like they go, they, have, they get this radio transmission from like this planet or like this solar system. And it's got, um, I can't remember her name now. Yeah. Yeah. Stop being like that. I'm trying go to on. explain it. Yeah, go on. And yeah, they make this like time, they make this machine that like can transport, like, travel through dimensions and things like that to get to this other solar system. But there was a law in that which I'd never heard before, and it's basically like something that scientists go off of. The simplest thing is the thing that, will, like, if it's the simplest thing you can think of, that's what it is. If it's like the simplest answer is simple, usually the correct edge, one. Something, something edge. It's like a, I have to find out what it is. But oh, Occam's razor. What's Occam's razor? Is it Occam's razor? Is it Occam's razor? It's like the simplest thing. The simplest thing is the, the thing that happens. Yeah. So no, you just reminded me of that when you said about Murphy's law. I know. I don't even know what Occam's razor is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Syntax. Contact was all about Occam's razor. Yeah. Oh. Okay, cool. that's cool. That's interesting. Oh, good. Oh. I can't believe I just died to this guy. <laughs> all right. Let's have him. Let's have him. Oh, in Psychotic Break. That's pretty ludicrous. Right, no heals, mind flayer run. No hit, no hit, no heals. I don't know if I want Aerith though. She is kind of my slow character for um. Well, actually, where's Yuffie's folios? But how do I do her folios? Uh, folio. Folios. How does one do the fans? Combat settings. First of all, switch Aerith. Uh, let's get Tifa to make it. Make this saucy. Where's the fo folios, G Ginge? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember, Captain. You in the wrong menu? Uh, go, 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 guys, I'm having a brain melt. Oh, oh, so they can only be done at the bookshops or vending machines. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I have many good team techs with Yuffie right now. I think I had one P for you, Fee. Oh, anyway, no, no heal, Mind Flayer, Slam Slam Shaloon. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, 
I've already got. Aerith solo. Aerith, that's Tifa. My brain ain't working today, guys. I've been operating on four hours of sleep daily. <laughs> Does it really matter if you change into a, a elemental ninjutsu if the enemy doesn't have any weakness? No, it's actually saying reduced. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Cloud a boost, a hasty boost. Just to get the team attack numbers up real fast. Oh, sugar. Alright. Do it. Now I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna get a natural stagger and then I'm just gonna do it on him after. Psychotic break? No, go now. I don't know. Is this gonna kill me again? If I do it quick. He interrupted him. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Oh shit, oh we wrecked him. Oh! 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 Okay, get it done. Get it done. Nice. Mm -hmm. Avocado coffee. The mind flare. I was concerned the fiend might feast upon oh. your brains, but I'm glad to see my fears were unfounded. <laughs> Only a true hero could ever have defeated such a malevolent evil. Your valiant efforts today have brought the world one step closer to peace. Thank you, hero. Oh no. I just felt a really bad feeling then. An icky feeling. A horrible, unwelcome feeling. I started feeling it with Roche. Now I just had it for them. I felt the feelings of liking Chadley and May. <laughs> no. No. What's happening to me? How do I fight these feelings? Alright, I'm so bamboozled as to where these map is telling me can you work it out so you see there's like a an uneven butt cheek yeah the only a sagging butt cheek a bullish divergence yeah so we've got the left glute gluteolus maximus and the right gluteolus minimus so there's two structures like that uh oh i've seen it already yeah over here right um with the Remna Wave Tower? No, it's just the wrong way around. The butt cheeks are the wrong way around. Oh, the butt cheeks are the wrong way around, you're right. Right, where did I see? So big, fat, juicy, left ass, small right. That one there. Oh. Where? Here? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 okay, it's, it's, it's gotta be there. These pairs, are, are you mocking, is that for mockery of my map skills or for my evisceration of main, mind flare? <laughs> is that a good cheese or a bad cheese? Is that a cheese, Pez? You are actually getting really freaking good at this game. Okay. At least it wasn't Sam banking freeze. <laughs> I think he oh yeah, Sam Bankman-Fried. He's what? Yeah, what was his verdict? It happened yesterday, right? Sam Bankman-Fried's the guy who uh, FTX, a big crypto trading platform. He was doing the noughties. Yeah, a bit of money laundering, a bit of inside trading. Twenty-five years. And then they gave him twenty-five years. Oh, oh, get served, son. 
He also did a bit of uh, witness tampering. Oh, shit. 25 years, he got served. Oh, boy. He ain't gonna make it. Sam Bankman frieds one of those uh, very weenie characters that is absolutely gonna get... He's gonna get turned into mashed potatoes in jail. Do you think you'd make jail, Ginge? I think if you set out with it, you could make yourself look odd. Conniving. <laughs> Spread rumors. Nah, man, those are the worst kind. If you go around. Just get beat up. Wait, so your 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 plan of surviving jail is just to be worm tongue. Yeah. Going up to the Nazi leader. Just question my liege. <laughs> Crime don't pay. Sounds like he deserved it. Yeah, he he deserved it. But I mean, this guy was like big buku bags billionaire, and he was. He was doing what most billionaires do. Trying to get into politics, funding the uh, Democrats, funding the Republicans, putting money into both camps. Um, like most billionaires in America do, do. And then turn around and then force your presidents and um, your senators to introduce policies and reject policies that fuck over you, the American people, at the expense of profit racketeering. It's kind of like, this Sam Bankman thing is kind of like Wolf of Wall Street, right? It's the same. You just have two kinds of it. You just have legalized corruption and the other kind that they'll throw the book out for the presentation of democracy and justice. But it's a fucking fabrication and it's a bullshit. Um, and it roughens my jimmies. Have I said too much? I mean, uh, I swear to uphold the constitution. Um, I, dude, I'm never, I'm never gonna find these maps. Okay, I need to be on Choki. I need to wait until I get a scent marker, right? Or, oh, right, yeah, right, okay. Yes, 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 I'm doing it, I'm doing the thing. Last quest and I've completed it. And we can get our butts to Coral. Coral. Where, where is it? Ah, uh, right there, nice. Right, hopefully this Wainwright quest ain't gonna drag. I'm gonna get it done nice and fast. Americans remember to vote. What? Yeah, between your giant douche or your turd sandwich. <laughs> Who are you going for, giant douche or turd sandwich? For every Sam Bankman free, the 10,000 will doing what he did every day. I mean, more or less. More or less. Like, for example, you really, you're really going to throw the book at Sam Bankman Freed, yet Nancy Pelosi just suddenly since her time, I mean, she's been in office fucking ages, but I saw what her wealth has gone from, and it was something like early days. It, it, it was like... Basically, very recently it's gone from like, I saw the numbers 3 million and it's just shot up to like 300 million or something. And have you noticed that politicians are some of the best traders out there? So Nancy Pelosi just made this incredible Nvidia play. Um, totally nothing to do with uh, the fact that these policy makers, well like COVID, when they were lying to the public and saying everything's fine all the way up while politicians were offloading their fucking shares. Nancy Pelosi just made insane amount of money off an Nvidia trade. That's what I saw. How is that any different, realistically, to what Sam did? So not only is she not in fucking jail, that old haggard ghoul 
is uh, that lizard person in an old lady skin suit is still in power. Still has a fucking job. Is it though? You're gonna get. They're coming for you now, definitely. It's, it's absolutely nonsense, right? Where's this last? So it's it's north of the Remnant Wave Tower, right? Well, I've already just collected that one. I think I think this is the one I still got to get. Slightly north of the Remna wave, so it's probably over over here somewhere. Oh what? No oh, way. At least. It's on you. I should just switch out some teammates while these are low. Cause I'd rather do that than heal. I don't like healing. I'm allergic to it. Makes me all rashy. Every time I have to heal, I get a hive. Trades you've been making, Pez. Uh, we've been we've been doing all kinds, all kinds. But um, what have been some of our big winners, Ginge? Suey. Suey, we made a good trade. FXS made a good trade. This is all on like trading chat. Uh, on spot trading. I've really been picking some pretty solid gems lately. The chat, the chat GPT one was an absolute winner. <laughs> uh, man, I can I find. Where on earth is this last? Maybe I've. Uh... Wait, Andre? No. Thank you, mate. Orange Rain. Appreciate you, man. 20 bucks. That goes an awful long way, man. We can have a whole night out on the town, courtesy of Uncle Novi. It's a thank you, man. That's the gift coming up. <laughs> Take my tip, you dirty little peasant. Don't call no thrusting. I, I make, I made that gift. While I was still smoking weed a lot. <laughs> I'm a classier man now. My my gifts would be much classier. Oh right, okay, nice. This is the next uh, the next point. So I just got to kill these foops. Get it done, Claude. Keep it together. Well done. Only the strong survive. Only the strongest survive. You know, I, I, I've been hearing an awful lot of people naysaying Red's voice. And a lot of people liked it, in fact, on my video. They're like, the worst thing about Rebirth is Red's voice. And there was a lot of likes on that. And that triggered me. <laughs> I like Red's voice. But I just simply replied, I'm like, damn, if, if that's like your biggest like, criticism of the game, what a bloody good game! <laughs> if that's the worst part, Red's voice, then... How amazing. And how about you talk about some of those amazing things rather than... Dude, what, what does this want? Where is this... I'm confused as to why... Uh... Ah. Why the symbol is red instead of the usual blue. Okay, there we go. Wait. They have the materials for Wainwright. What? Why have I only got one? Oh, fuck no. I thought I'd already done two, two of them. What? I was so baffled. I just did a load of folio. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. They just ignore me, guys. Okay, well, there's another one here. For some reason, I thought I'd already done two others, but they. Right, those were blue ones. The quest ones are the red ones. 
They set it up to trap you that way. Stop choking. Stop. Right around here. Out of the way, Red. All of this for some bleeding driftwood. Alright. So that's one, that's two. I'm guessing the other one's further down the coast. What are you grunting at, mate? Left butt cheek. Do you need a massage? I drink. Alright. We're looking at the map. That's one, that's two. Oh, wow, you can do a zoom up. So that's one, that's two. So third is actually up here somewhere? I guess so. I, I really thought this quest would be a nice fast one, but it's not. It's not. It's bloody annoying. Right, have I got to get up on this this plateau? I feel like we're... I do get up on that plateau. <laughs> Go choke it. Oh, nice. Aha, aha. Clean. Ah, oh, you're make me fight these things. They are making this unnecessarily hard. They're tricking you with certain blue scents, and Square knows they're doing it. Why do you want to make this as tough me as you can, dudes? <laughs> God damn them. We're going to place this scent one here near these mobs so that the player has to dismount to then remount to then get the sniff. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Got Wainwright's shit. Here we go. Is this the end of this quest line? Let, let, let us pray. Special delivery. Eris mm. is annoyed by this guy. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Uh -huh. I don't know. What what was it I needed? To ask about Gabe? There's a guy called Gabe? I can't Gabe bloody remember. I, we go way back. Comrades in arms. Why are we you here? never know it now. But he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains. Hunting for Shinra units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic. But oh, uh, okay. It wasn't enough. Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. Give me the part. Give me the part. Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Very patient, Freddy. <laughs> Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. Carriage wheel. No okay. Lie. Bed, price. Take it. You yes, want to make I... more than that. Gabe's definitely going to need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. Hit him with a chair, Aerith. <sighs> like catching some seeds, for one. So if we're all done here... They don't bring back chair with Gainsborough. I'm, uh... You don't be sad. Right. Bosh, bosh. 
want that succulent completion sign. You can go back to the grasslands if you do this quest. I'm, I'm going to get my butt to uh, Mount Coral. Uh, Bree said that for Mount Coral I should just do a few quests because it's pretty chunky, but then just mush into some story. Folio level 5 on Mount Sweet. Well, just mostly want to see what Yuffie's folios be looking like. I got those two partners. Gather strength, then at least show the attack Fox Flame. Okay, that could be good. All these charge attacks are always scrummy scrummy. Let's let's do that. Right, Oh yes, yes, this yep, droopy nips. Oh droopy nips. Yep, yep, yep. Oh did <laughs> brought you a present from your good friend Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well call well, Peter on you my arm. Main. Alright, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. I was advocating for the chokies. Coral section is juicy. That's good advice from Bray, okay? Whew. I quite like it. Do some good story, then well. backtrack on the side yeah. stuff. Oh, I gotta Let's go. Say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. <laughs> what Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big I'm company. Loving this choking thing, man. <laughs> goes, I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Oh, hey, bit of harmonica. I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So, there you have it. I just... let it go. He's gonna give me another quest, I'm isn't responsible. he? Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can <sighs> oh, keep the I moving. And make Sleep sure well, bro. Birds never get bored again. Rick Orand, Arian, hello field. from Washington. You're quite the businesswoman nice. yourself. Nice. I've been looking at some places in Washington. Well, actually, I didn't realize I, I got really confused. So Washington, D.C. is your capital, right? But that's not in the state of Washington, or is it? No, it's not. But then also Pennsylvania has a Washington as well. Queensguard angle, that sounds... Fucking nice! Alright, quest complete. Where? Where's the fireworks? The fireworks of regional completion. No, oh, I'm done. Come on, some sort of a hundred percent marker. At least change the color of the text for June on region. Fucking something. Give me something. Man, what's this Queen's Guard? <laughs> Who has got a shite accessory on? Enhanced Copper Bracer. We're gonna make Barrett the Queen. Not that Barrett really needs more defense, but. Oh, this might be one of my favorite Chokey renditions. I'm gonna have Barrett still. 
Barrett the least inconspicuous, nimble-fingered person of the party. Wait, you're technically you're not finished there yet. What do you mean I'm not finished there yet? I right, flew right on over here. When I, if you're in the market for a ride, Gabe's Chocobos will get you where you need to go, lickety split. How can Gabe's Chocobo carriage get us to Costa del Sol exactly? Another time. <laughs> what? That doesn't make no sense! Wait, what have I got left to do? Yeah. Full Condor Hard Mode, done it. Or... Oh, uh, uh, uh. Pretty sure. Basically, do, how do you know when you've 100%ed the area? How do you know? Okay, so Gabe's carriage place is a... Continental travel thing, I've got to remember that. Right, interdimensional warlock, I've done that. Look at the bottom left, Pez. <gasps> oh, um, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, proto relics. So, is it actually, is it Fort Condor? Is it Fort Con Condor hard modes? Legit? Let me just do one, one quick, easy game and see if I get another proto relic. Pro 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 relic. Right, bottom left. Uh, yeah. This is the this is always the team setup now. It's the best. I have a clear, undefeatable strat. I don't need anything else. I don't need nothing else. A newbie enforcer, first of all. Well, to start charging a ranger. Get cloud charged really fast. Easy GG. Alright, now we're just gonna build some ATB. Let that guy run. Glass cannon dudes are pretty rough. I'd like to protect my dude if I could with an enforcer, but I don't think it's gonna happen, Captain. Go. Solid. Alright, I need to start pushing pretty soon. Oh man. Got a double cleric this side. Elite Ranger for war. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, they got a sweepy coming. I let the sweepy do his swoop. And now Elite Enforcer. All right, let's push. All right, deploy uh, hero units. Not yet, not yet. Sweet. Okay, this guy is the one I'm gonna schlank. These two, these two. Once they come into the kill zone. Ah. Bang! Oh. 
Alright, let's go boys. Let's go boys. Another Lee Ranger, Bill Barra, win. Is this actually hard mode? I, I, I keep asking that, but... It never feels like it is. Alright, Barrett's all bust up. Alright, let's get Barrett down now. I don't have really much time. Death throws. Oh! Oh! Come on, clerics! Why are you guys... Oh. Easy. Alright, is that giving me... 2 out of 4? I'm not noticing any difficulty change, if I'm honest. I'm confused. Wow, yeah, okay, you guys were right, you guys were right. I, I'm sorry, I've spent almost an hour just trying to tidy up June on. This will be done soon. <laughs> the Ballista Meat Grinder, it's, it's great, it's great. Uh, can I just? I'll probably just build them on top of each other. Doesn't matter. Mm. Gonna take some damage on that. I uh, don't really want to. Uh, hopefully, Sweepy doesn't. Mm, Sweepy's gonna hurt. Right, let's Sweepy sweep. Uh, get another enforcer down. Right, this is a fat choke, and I've built my blisters a bit too far forward. Which means I'm... Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. Okay, I'm just going to quickly restart that. I... <laughs> I built my ballistas too far forward. Oopsie. Stay up. One. Two. I should probably just build one here, but... Meh. Meh. Come on, attack and then push forward a bit, please. Ugh. All right, that sweepy's going to do a flame and it's going to definitely kill. So I should just build A and B and wait for the flame attack. Yeah. Wow, that's their weakness as well. That's a bit of a hurty gurty. Maybe I should go with Elite Vanguard, the fast kill. Come on. Come on, boys. Hold, Elite. Vanguard, man. I built my Ranger too far forward. Okay, that's good. Elite Vanguard getting it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, let those boys temporarily push while I build my units up. Maybe I want to try to keep this guy alive. Be wildness, but let's go for it. Not being attacked over here, might. No, okay. I, I'm very defenseless down here. Oh, I shouldn't have built that. I shouldn't have built that. That was a mistake. No. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh no! No! Sorry, right, there's a hard push going on. Eee! Maybe a cleric will be able to heal the turret. Blister. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Come on, lads. 
Oh no! No! It's all gone horribly wrong! <laughs> I've run out of enforcers. Oh, sacks. Just gotta push with the elite enforcer. Uh, elite vanguard, I mean. No, I did mean enforcer. Come on, boys. Oh, wait, Cloud! Definitely the Cloud players. Am I gonna get those back two sweepies? Go Cloud, do your thing. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> Actually no, the crap boss is almost done. We can do it, we can do it, come on. Come on! Elite Ranger. It's the last bit of push. We've got Barrett to build out. If he summons anything else, should I, I should just bring Barrett down now, maybe. I don't know. Come on. Push a little bit deeper. Fuck it. We'll do it. Go, go, go. 14 seconds. Come on. We got that. We got that. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Bro, these are so long. Oh, I think they're the right length, man. It's, uh... Not too bad. All right, last one. Then we have completion. Uh, right, so, how do I know when it's done? What ones have I done? Uh, got one more proto. What ones did I just do? The World of Fort Condor, I think the first one. Hello, Cyclic Hamer. Oh no, you're saying hello to Battle Scar. Hello, Battle Scar. Do the jewels do the jewels push up? Yeah, see, I didn't even know jewels was in this game or had push ups or pull ups. Um, so I would say that that was a spoiler, except for Bree spoiled me. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a big deal, but Bree said that she needs my help because of her mangled arm. She can't actually... She's been trying. She's been getting in the right pickle. Trying to complete that quest, and I think she's hard locked out from completion. <laughs> because of it. Then push in. Enforcer. Let's get an enforcer to cover. I'll go put our elite ranger nice and early, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna push my luck with the left side. No, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I've, I've overdone that. No, no, no! No, no, no! Cleric, run! Run away, Cleric! You must leave! You must live! Cleric! You were supposed to push with the left flank, you fool! Come on, come on. Keep Cleric alive. Oh, God, Cleric. Oh no, now the elite archer's gonna get it. Oh no! Oh, my vanguard just took so much damage. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's all good, it's all good. If he does another one of those blade spins, this is gonna really hurt. Ah, 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 ah.
<laughs> oh no! Oh, that's horrible! Oh, I'm... I'm getting... Uh, I've been destroyed. That's definitely going to be an L. That's definitely an L! So they got a lot of archers in this team. Uh, I should probably switch, but... Probably not overbuild on this side. That's what I think I did wrong last time. I'm just gonna let him push safe from ATB. Get an early blister down here. More noob enforcer. Okay. Stack my ATB, let some attacks go down from this big sweeper man. Right, let him do his nasty razor spins. Ah, right, yeah. Now we can put an elite down. Another backup. Alright, Cloud's ready to deploy! I get cloud early to be honest. Ooh. I need to use cloud where it really counts. You got throw a ranger in front. Come on. Come on. Right now. Soon. 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 Just push past this sweeper and I can get maximum damage. Ah! Is Cloud gonna do? Oh, 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 nice, 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 nice. Come on, push through. Ah! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So that's it, push, push, push. Think Cloud now. I think I, sat, I think I sat on him for too long. Oh Jesus, Cloud just got fucking wrecked. Alright, Elite's getting wrecked. Everything's getting wrecked. No, 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 doing so bad. Oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? Larry, no! Yo, guys, I think I'm going to be hard locked on this level because this is pretty brutal. It's elite Rangers until Barrett can come and win the day. Come on, come on, Elite Rangers. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Elite Rangers, shoot! Shoot, you bloody boo! Barrett's here, Barrett's here. That really did nothing. Oh my god, okay, that's right. Cloud's pushing! Cloud's pushing in the rear! Barrett's gonna die. This is going... Is he going all right, actually? I think I've won. Wow, five seconds. Come on! Lads! Lads! Sorry, didn't you? I realise. We're just here trying to have a nice, peaceful, zenny morning. I'm, I'm just up here screaming I'm like a fool. I've had my zenny morning already. Yeah? I've had my zenny morning. Have you? Yeah. Doing the washing up. Nice.
Right. That's a hundred percent. You completed all objectives. Where's my trophy? Is that it? Have I now done everything in Junon? You've already 100% of Junon. So, so now, now, no, now I have. Now I have. And I got nothing for it. <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go to Coral. Let's see what's uh, what's afoot. All right, so I'm going to try to move my butt relatively fast through here. Costa Falls. Why can't I? Oh, of course, I can't fast travel yet. I've got to get over there. <laughs> Yay! Oh, can't sky us out here. Now, this is a good time, guys. Uh, I never care about so, completing everything, so uh, getting that done is a bigger victory than it seems. Even if the game doesn't reward me with a little sticker, I make my own reward. Can I not t just t TP up to Johnny? Right. Oh, that's the just the pin. Okay. Uh, cover refurbishment materials. What do you think, guys? Just keep moseying towards Coral and start some story. Maybe I'll do a few things along the way, but largely keep moving forward. I love the music in this area. This might be my favourite. This music hits me deep in the deepest crevices of my wee little peasant -y heart, man. Right in the squishy bits! Oh, hello. Hello, Choke. This is turning me into a little pudding, this song. A plump little caramelized pudding. I want pudding now. James, go find me some pudding, mate. We've got no pudding. No pudding. No. Oh, there's a there's a mog house. Wow. Ooh. So at this point, I decided not to do everything in there and press on with the story. I, uh, I, do, I, I do little bits. I ain't gonna just fast run through, but we'll see what the game presents me. Follow my curiosities. See what sings to me. Oh. Ooh. Key change. Alright, can I transmute anything? Because I'm I'm tapped on planet manifestations. Uh Make a planet's... I can make some planet's favours. Right. Planet's venison. Alright. I need... I need zinc. Uh, wise fox bracelets. Where did I get some zinc? So I'm curious. 
who here have you all played 16? Are you guys getting the DLC? Are you pretty pumped for it? Oh, sync. Nice. If you're searching for a transmuter chip, you should summon a chocobo. I didn't think that's what I was doing, but okay. <laughs> I'm not doing chocobo nonsense right now. Be gone with you. Oh, and I can't summon a chocobo anyway. I haven't, I haven't locked him. Ah, oh, these spinny, spinny seahorse lads are some of them. The most annoying mob in this game. Definitely some of the most annoying ones. Oh, cloud mist. Will you stop? Sorry, just like that. We still don't have a 16 PC announcement yet. Huh? We still don't have a 16 PC announcement. Still no 16 PC announcement. Not to my knowledge. I don't know if they've spoken about it. I mean, they. I think they've like soft announced it, as in, yeah, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be a while. We're gonna, we want to do it right, and it's obviously going to be after exclusivity expires, which probably has now, right? Wait, how long ago did 16 come out? I think exclusivity was just for six months. Yeah, it's been six months. It's been six months. All right. Yeah. Um, so potentially any time soon. That's what but honestly, I, I'm probably just, I'd say they're probably going to do, not bring it out for another six months. As long as they, I was to guess. As long as they um, make it run well. Like, I don't want 15's oh, problems. I didn't hear that bus stop. All of, the, all of this. You don't want 15's problem? Oh, I thought you said 15 ran kind of smooth on the PC. It ran okay, but still not very good. Well, it's a bit problematic. Yeah. Contain knowledge of the summoned entity, Alexander. Long ago, a great but wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. Great but wicked. A construct Ooh. called Alexander. Interesting. A great but wicked civilization wiped out overnight. Ooh. I am curious. <clears throat> Alexander Divine Judgment Judgmented their ass. Ah, oh, these little uh, these little fishy things. Um, blue blue balls. Blue 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 bees. Blue, oh citron citrophine fish, oh yeah, obviously. Back up bubbles. Don't overdo it. No you don't. <laughs> Way off, mate. Another one in the bag. Say that. If I actually equipped Alexander, I did all that hustle to get him. Oh no. Oh no, choking music's kicking in. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 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 who's got Alexander? Tifa's got Alexander. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take Rama Cloud, give Rama Tifa. I want to summon Alexander. ASAP, yes please. I think I've even summoned Phoenix yet. I need to just do it soon. <laughs> oh, what's one quick game of mobs? Mogs out. FF9 Alexander looks cool. FF9 Alexander is 
Either the best Alexander Please or the second best to Type Zero's. Type Zero's Alexander. That shit was ludicrous. What other Alexanders have we actually had? Get in there. Alright, story based Alexanders. Uh, obviously, you had Hopes Alexander in 13, but it didn't really have any story component. Oh man, I've got to round up five of these bummer holes. Come on, you ugly, ugly ass Moogles. Most hideous Moogles in all the land. Built skin is ashamed of you. Oh man, I'm coming to Moogle Roundup Lord. Get it done! Alright, oh man, Moog's all the way over there. Alright, don't fuck me, don't fuck me off. Come on. Ah, oh, I can't just throw him down the river. Oh god, I've run out of time. No! Stop slighting me! Go. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> you can run him! Okay, that's a new one. Come on! Get him! Thanks so much! I wish Bez would get back in the 14. Once I go back to the UK. Maybe when I'm in fly. New Zealand. He ate a ton of Koopo nuts and practiced every day until his wings finally worked. It's such an inspiring Ugh. story, Koopo. Horrifying. <laughs> These Moogles are like Five Nights at Freddy's edition. They're not very cute, are they? No, nah, look at them. They're too lanky. Needs to be squished down a bit. Yeah, too big, and Moogle shouldn't have teeth. It's all round pretty horrifying. Anyway, I should probably buy some shit. Uh, all right, there's different levels of mischief. Anything uh, interesting? Catch your eye, Koopa. I don't know what you got, you knob. Might as well. Alright, how much did that just cost me? Oh, Jesus Christ. That was expensive. Okay, that's fine. Thanks so oh, much. Oh, Over oh. here. Keep trying to call a chocobo. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's get Barrett's depression going. We want to see sad boy Barra. Unfairly blamed for something that wasn't really his fault. Easy, easy. Alright, uh, right, there's a little quest mark up here. Let's let's hit it. Oh wow! Oh damn! What's that lift? Some, some sort of lift? Hiking trail. Okay. Yeah, the entrance into Coral was strange, right? That was when you go over, like, the, the ride tracks. Out of service. So we've got to walk? Uh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Sad boy right. Barrett engaged. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Pressing hey, notes. Dread. Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? 
So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go! <laughs> you know, Yuffie, when you're oh. part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything <laughs> by you first? Yep. So that's Music's coming in. Fine. Very rumbunctuously. You feel ain't gonna stop, is she? Yeah, by how much? Like fifty-one percent good guy to forty-nine. Good question. Answer it, Tifa. A little more than that. So what? Like a fifty-five, forty-five split? Close to. Oh. Oh. Oh, fifty-five, forty-five, Tifa. That's brutal. Ginge. Yeah. We fucking known each other a long time, son. Good percentage versus bad. Good versus bad. You prepare your number, I'll prepare mine. We'll say it simultaneously. Simultane so percentage of good and bad. Yuffie was just asking how much is bad. Is he like 51% good guy or 49% jerk face? And they went 55, 45, and Tifa went, yeah, about that. <laughs> So me and you. Well, well, I think you're bad and what you're good. Yeah. Well, it's split between. Don't answer. Get the percentage in your head. This could ruin our friendship. You've got us on the rocks. Tell me when you've got your answer. Well, I just to make sure the percentages add up. <laughs> Ginger's heinously bad at math. <laughs> okay. I've got yours. I've got yours. Who wants to go first? Sure, we'll do it at the same time. Nice and loud. Oh, is this right? I think so. <laughs> Jim's just going to add up to 110%. All right. Three, two, one. 76, 24. Ah! Oh, I went 76, 24. Ginger went 75, 25. Which means I gave you a point more. Which means I'm a better friend than your ham. <laughs> no, that right there. That's that's why I put one point less. <laughs> He's weighing. I'm weighing. He's having a weight. It says 75-25 for Pez, and he said 76-24 for me. That's actually surprising to me, yeah. Change my mind, you're 69-31. You can't change it now. Changing it. Why? Because you're a bloody arsehole. You're a bloody arsehole, man. Maybe I should change yours in it. Why is there 20 what why is there 25% wrong with me? What That's a lot actually. Fuck you, Jim. Why is there 24 I'm not saying I'm a quarter rot. A quarter of my being is pure unsalvageable rot. Nobody's perfect. Dude, if a if a quarter of your house was rotted, okay. the whole structural integrity is gone. So, so I have no integrity as a so person. What's twenty four percent? Fuck you! Shut up! Don't talk to me. My legs are killing me. That's what we lose, 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 lose situation. But if we stop now, the material. I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. Oh dear, miss mystery men. You guys can catch up later. Well. Leah. Don't leave my party, Yuffie. No. She fucked off. I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. 
Barrett's but not himself right now, you know? I know. Yeah. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Aerith red yes. clouding me? Do. Okay. Tifa's got such a cool run. Such an eth athl athletic cool run. What's up is going on? It looks really mad. Huh? Apparently you look really mad. I am mad. I'm bloody fuming. Obtained a wizard's rod. Yeah. I like how Yuffie is just like, oh, I I'm going to go ahead because she's trying to find materia and she's just run straight past one. Bit of a shit materia hunter, ain't ya? Right, I've got a new... Nah, I have not checked how I'm doing for my, uh, my weapon mastery. At all. Not at all. How am I getting on? Shelby's going. Ah, still got to do some disorders. Shelby leaving me? Who are you off to watch? Who are you off to watch instead of me? Arcane, oh, oh man, dude, I know I've got Cane Ward. Oh, I'm actually cast twice. I haven't even got this. I haven't even got this. Dude, I need to get my, my shit together. But I'm just sleeping on entire <laughs> freaking abilities. Right, Chrono Ages, Razor Bear. So I need to cut cast some that. I'm just going to put that on for now until I get it. So I need to be casting Chrono Ages on Nerif. Uh, am I w with. Oh, red. Alright, how are we doing, red? Do I need leveling nothing? <laughs> so, dude, uh, I need you to remember Chrono a Aegis, yeah. Aegis, and Chilling Roar. You got that? Yeah. Can you keep reminding me? A disorder. Oh, give me three. Three? You need to remember three. I've got the second one already. Go on. What do you think I said? Have a guess at the three, Ginger. I'll give you... Chrono Aegis, Chilling Roar, and... What was the third one? <laughs> Come on, Ginger. I'm trying to get my vape thing open on this. Chrono Aegis, Chilling Roar. And? What? Disorder. Disorder. All right, can you keep reminding me, mate? Oh, wow, these are cheap... Chrono Aegis, Chilling Roar, and Disorder. <laughs> Don't forget, mate. You need to remember that for at least the next two, three streams. Chilling roll and disorder. <laughs> the next oh. two or three streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to remember this for a few days. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like what? Yeah. It's because I keep using my short keys. For most of my abilities and things like all the boosts going. Go Deal with that. Gravity? Oh, gravity magic. Healing roar now. Alright, just come getting no time disorder. to celebrate. What'd you call me? Disorder. Oh. <laughs> oh! Another saucy vista, my dudes! My dudes, my dudettes! Choke bros, choke a hose! Look at that. Paper bars. Let's go up here. You don't like paper bars, do you? Uh, I mean, I have a mild fear of heights, yes, yes. But very mild. There's a lot of people I know that don't like cable cars. Ah, uh, my cable cars, they're kind of cool. I've got cried on once. We cried on, okay, what? Yeah. Why? Not. <laughs> oh, fun fungus! <laughs> Take Luna. 
Alright guys, take it easy, don't do too much damage, we're leveled with the weapon leveling. The mob's too squishy. Alright, uh... I should probably climb this, and, or maybe not. Depends. What's the real way and what's the fake way? Right, oh, that's the fake way. I think we have to climb, no matter what. Disorder mastered, truly? Wait, let me jump down. Are you lying to me? <gasps> Yay! Alright, let's get on with... So Disorder's switched out now for Firebolt Blade, Ginge. Yeah. Give me the three back. Throw away this chilling water <laughs> Firebolt Blade. Yeah. <laughs> Square created a world again. Uh, an amazing world. It's bloody glorious. Ooh. So cool. Uh. Okay, before we head down here, I feel like there is. Something succulent hiding yonderly. Oh. Oh, really? Deal with that. What am I? What am I supposed to be doing with loud again? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Chilling raw, mastered. Yum yum. Right. Yeah, there is Kono blocked. I think I'm about to cast on time. Oh, the team's getting pretty damn Wow, those gravities are slub dub dub my life bar down. I've only just left the bench. <laughs> Crawl a gate. Alright. I want to go. So the quest continues up here. I want to make sure I explore all of the spots. Let's get out of red screen. Ooh. Golden sources come in. Hey, did you know they call the cactus in the game succulents? No. Take the lead. Maybe. Hi, Ray. I need them to try to attack me, right? How do you deal? How do you deal with gravity? Is there any way to deal with them? Keep it together. Take over. So like it just casts on you, it doesn't seem available. That all block. Oh nice. Oh man, so Krona A ages just chills around you for ages? My dudes. I should I should be using that all day, every day. Places are so meaty, man. Woo! Alright, did I just get Chrono Age is Master? I'm <laughs> I'm so bad at noticing when I've got done something, which is why I'm in this situation. Alright. Uh Truly? Nice. Alright, what are we just fighting noobs? Let's just get our Arcane Ward. Uh, so Arcane Ward and Radiant Ward. What are the fundamental differences? Arcane Ward is the who strikes with the second one being one and a half times. Or half, half times. So essentially one and a half times damage. So the second spell is half damage. How's that different to Radiant Ward? 
Um, right, red. I need to get Crescent Claw. So yeah, you have a, 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 I thought it'd take me ages to master these, but now you just simply need to remember, Ginge. Arcane Ward, Crescent Claw, and Fireball Blade. Give me that back. Arcane Ward, Crescent Claw, and Fireball Blade. You're getting good at this, man. This is a little, this is like a little brain, brain training for you. Wait. Uh, so Radiant makes her immune while casting spells and boosts her normal attack. So it just boosts the normal attack. Do you mean makes her immune while casting immune? Immune from being knocked down, not from damage, right? So you can stack Radiant Ward and Arcane Ward on top of each other. I mean against mobs that would be gnarly. So you could put Radiant Ward, Arcane Ward and Chrono Aegis around you and just stand there and just spam shit on everyone's day. So while casting you take zero damage but can still be interrupted. Wait. 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 What? Raiden I I need to see this in action. You take zero damage while casting with Radiant Ward. No matter how powerful the spell that's being thrown at you. There's got to be exceptions to that rule, but for that be OP as fuck. Right, I'm gonna go on air if I'm gonna see if this is true. Okay then. Don't overdo it. Ah, I, I'm not pressing uh, first strike when I can. I can be. Right. Right. Just put a little. Put a little. Actually. I'm here to uh, <laughs> level arcane wards and we'll do that. No, Alan. No, it's that. Eric. No, Thunderbolt. No. That was just gonna. Jesus, that was embarrassing. <laughs> right, Crescent Claw, Crescent Claw. Move them out, we don't want those zappy zappies. Get one more in, please. No cloud, stop. Pull cloud out. Just like that. Nice. Oh damn, Aerith. Others can use arcane ward who? So. Yeah, 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 of course. Anyone who stands in it can be casting El Succulentes. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to put this on my hotkey. Well, I don't actually need this on my hotkey. Jesus Christ, it is, it's right there. Conjure a ward that grants invisibility while casting spells. <laughs> yeah, Lost with Shoes in base game, that, 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 that shit's good. It is real good. Alright. Uh, 
So these red, these bobbly boys, blo blo bloaty, bloaties. We go cast gravity. I'm going to cast the spell. It's going to make me invincible to it. It's going to be great. All the rose down. Ow. Right, gravity's coming. Gravity's coming. So if I now cast... That work? I don't know. Ah, she's just doing too much damage. Uh, oh, 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 she'll try casting then. Alright. This cast time is so short and quick. That's pretty good. The boys are just <laughs> massacring him. Alright, Fireball Blade. Oh, my team. <laughs> my team is getting down to their last legs. I may need to start cracking into my supplies. Pressing Claw Mastered. The t shirt, I need to give you a free P. Something. A reward for keep telling me. <laughs> what am I doing? Sweet. Red's got all of his juice. We get some more arcade wards down. We keep fire bowing. It's gonna rush, rush fire bow now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wow, that's powerful. Yum yum. No, dudes, I'm getting zinc all, all day, every day. Right, do I need to kill something off of hmm. the arcane ward to a level? Do I have kind of like sections like this where they just send this is an old classic square where they just send mobs that are designed to just attrition you <laughs> like those bloody boom doors how many of you have also watched Freerum Fr the anim anime Her pension for getting caught up by mimic boxes. I love it. I know. Any of you watching any juicy anime lately? I'd say we're on the path to watching Evangelion, but I can tell Jinx. It's, I can tell. I can bloody tell. I can tell he doesn't have any interest. And the reason for that. It's because we didn't start on his Iron Blooded Orphans Gundam thing. No. So now we're having a passive aggressive anime standoff. Where I'm not going to watch your thing, no. because you're not watching my thing. So we're both just not going to watch. Good anime together. That's not the case. Very passive aggressive, Ginge. Stop making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yelling? Chill! I can't deal with your stress! 50 50 now. Get him! That's it! You ready? You can do it! Look out of time to get an arcane ward, probably. Jesus! Far blood. Far blood blade, blade is the bizzle. Oh man, this is. <laughs> this climb to the top of here is. 
so much fun. I'm having a gay old time. I love Diamond Blooded Orphans. Yeah, stick to the game, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, Diamond Blooded Orphans. Asuka is the best in Evangelion. Red, Red Dragons, Bree Wood. She'd get actively angry. Actively angry at you for saying that. I'd never even watched it and she showed up and I just went, oh, here comes the best character of the... Just totally guessing, totally riffing. Brie looked like she wanted to punch me. Punch me in the nose. She hates Asuka. There's an anime convention in my city right now. Yeah, what city is that? My team's going down slowly. I'll show you what I can do. Sorry, but I gotta. Yeah. So does Soul Drain also boost off of uh, Arcane Ward? Probably not. Probably not. Does Soul Drain also do damage? I feel like I chunked a load of... Oh, double O is the gun to my own potential, really wants it. I've watched double O. Double O? Double O. I've watched Unicorn, um, Thunderbolts, and Iron Blood Orphans. June sat me down and uh, forced me to watch um, a character called uh, Cauliflower. And another one called Kale, and then they merged oh, and turned into Palifla. No, just... Kafala. Kafata. Kefla. Ke I didn't make you watch it. We Kef were watching, we were watching Master Roshi's funniest moments, and then the next video queued up, and it was a fight between Kale and Cauliflower. Yeah, what? I thought you said the name was Cauliflower. They're all named after vegetables. It's not called Cauliflower, it's called it's Cauliflower. His real name's Cara. Cacarol. Cara? Wait. Oh, I just noticed Yuffie's. <laughs> Is Yuffie drawing these? Yuffie be trolling. Acro! Have you seen Full uh, Now I've Brothered? I finished it about five months ago. Unbelievably good trajectory of the anime. One of those that just built and built and built and kept getting better and then just ended solid. Solid. Holy nips. It was so good. It had such an over-the-top ending. Enjoyed all the villains. The story was all around great. And then me and Bree got really triggered because there's some anime channel, there's some big anime channel where they sit and they talk about anime and the dude had never watched Full Metal Brotherhood, yet felt like he was able to make statements such as, oh, what was Fire Dude's name? Was it Ray? The, 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 the Flame Alchemist guy. The dude hadn't, he said that guy is, I think he said overrated or useless. Some absolutely ludicrous statement. Um, but basically, he's not that good. <laughs> or he's not that valuable. I'm like, motherfucker, 
You talk about the guy who just straight up incinerated the, like, the sins and like, made them. Roy Mustang. That's it, yeah, not Ray. Roy Mustang. How can you say Roy Mustang? <laughs> Was a, uh, a useless character. He had the sins crawling on the floor, begging for their lives like little bitches. He's only useless in the rain. Oh yeah, it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then it's fun. But it was just basically one of those um, moments where you know if somebody doesn't know something about something, I kind of feel like we live in a culture now where if you don't know something, just say I don't know. That's okay. That's fucking valid. It's just <laughs> it's one of those where it feels like someone needs to have an opinion on everything all the time about every subject now. And when we all just act like that's a normal thing, like every person is supposed to know everything about everything. Like for example, it went viral fucking everywhere with uh, that Joe Rogan, Chris, um, oh, Kid Rock. Kid Rock. That Joe Rogan, Kid Rock interview where he's talking about the Palestine-Israel situation. Everyone's taking that in like a big way. It's like, what the fuck does Kid Rock know about shit? I mean, I I'm all for people having like a, an opinion, a take, you know, conversing about something. But I don't know, it's the same as like celebrities getting asked questions about like politics or like current world affairs. It's like not everyone needs to know fucking something about it. <laughs> it's weird. I, on the other hand, do know everything about everything. Test me. Bloody test me. Probably one interesting fact you didn't know about me. That I, in fact, do know everything about everything. Oh, I was bringing the fucking I need to verify whether or not Soul Drain is doing damage. Which I'm not about to do if these boys well. Very cool. Nothing We're getting it done. There's too much to know everything, but nobody wants to admit they don't know. Do some main antagonists in Gundam Unicorn. Ah, uh, ah. See, now that that's a trick question because that's actually uh, while we do have the main character, my antagonist. Not protagonist. Oh, sorry, protagonist. No, the main antagonist. Main oh, antagonist. that's, um, that's Moon Moonate Moon Ape? Gundam Unicorn? Yeah. Right. It begins with a H. I'm getting a H. Nothing. Um, I need to tap into my clairvoyance. That's how I know everything. I don't actually know anything, but... I'm getting, I'm getting a stir, a stir, a Steve, a... Uh, man, I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a hug, a a girl. No. It begins with a Z. No. Shilong. No. Mordecai. No. I don't know. Yes, I got it. <laughs> About things that aren't aren't lame. I can't say that. <laughs> don't stop now. Right. I don't know lame things, dude. What's the what's the what's the villain's name then? Full frontal. <laughs> the full frontal. Yeah. What kind of villain name is full frontal? It's called full frontal. What does full frontal do? He's the second coming of Char. It's the. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. Second coming of Char. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, the first coming of Char was was Char. Yeah. See? You knew that. Bit. I knew that. I knew that. That should count. Aren't you pretty impressed? How did I know that? What? 
faction are Char and... Don't ask me any more Gundam questions. Well, That's... I asked you because you said you knew everything. Yeah, about non-lame <laughs> things. Gundam's not lame, mate. Hello, my asthma. Oh! Alright, Pez, how is Rebirth gonna end? Well, you want me to guess? You want me to guess? That's, is that a loaded question? Are you tricking me? Am I being tricked? Well, have I mastered? I feel like I've done a lot of fireball bladings with Claude. Yeah, you have mastered it. Alright, sweet. Nice. Fireball blade is real good. Right, Arcane Ward is taking an age. Activate the effects of the ward one time, only while ward is on the field. So that's how I get it. I've just got to keep bringing out the wards. Okay, then I can get onto my lustrous shields. Nice. Alright. Is there something down here? I feel like if I jump off, I'm going to be sent back to the start. You know everything just as long as those type of questions are asked. Huh? He knows everything just as long as no further questions are asked. <laughs> That's how it works. <clears throat> okay. No spoilers obviously. In the comments as well. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna try to guess how rebirth is gonna end. Okay. So I've got a sniffy suspicion. I don't know how Vincent's going to play into it, so Vincent's kind of the wild card where I'm hoping Vincent is a big deal. Can I have some of your vapor vaporizer? I'm gonna gonna cook. Ah. Don't know how he's gonna play in, but I'm kinds of thinking. I mean, we, we've not really swapped to Zach's line. Much. Don't hold that. I think Aerith is gonna zip off the Tenth of the Ancients. It was really cool in the trailer seeing Sid saying, if you ever need my ship, Aerith, or like he really wants to help her. I feel like from what I saw in the trailer, Sid's got some very interesting, cool intuitions going on. But I've been thinking a lot about her white material being translucent now, and I still am kind of in the camp of wondering if we're not in the real world right now, <laughs> or this. I think both are real worlds, but I'm just wondering if Zach, on that end, is going to arrive with Temple and Angels at the same time, but they're going to be in different, different parts of it. A world of chaos and world of live stream, and the sword's gonna come down. And I don't know if there's gonna be some tomfoolery or trickery on Seth's end. Is he gonna go through with killing the ancient? I mean, that's the big question. I mean, if the white material is translucent, uh, can it actually still activate? Holy, if it doesn't flash green, will killing Aerith put Zack and Aerith onto Zack's line? Barbar Blaze healing is I know, I just think that the whispers are there and the kill's still gonna happen, but it's gonna open up a another rift, we can have another spiritual world hop. I think maybe we'll see a little teaser at the end of a Zach Aerith reunion. Something wild, wild and cosmic shattering is going to happen at that point. There's whispers flitting about, is, is this going to happen? But maybe I'm not thinking big enough. No hints or spoilers, guys. Just all I want you to right. We're entering precarious territory here. Just say how I should be thinking. 
Just one word. Big or realistic? How should I think about this? Think big. So big, out there, far-reaching, wildness. I think realistic. Sensible. Rounded. Logical. Methodical. Honouring of... No, no, I can't. I not say much. I just need to know what temperature to crack my tinfoil hat up to. Mm. Mm. But the other part that I've really been obviously mulling over is... It's the Genova mind games, man. But obviously we're seeing little hints of it. Game? Geared towards yeah, Tifa. What? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! <laughs> Everyone's hitting a climber's high. Don't do it, Pez. Both. <laughs> Just don't think. <laughs> It's getting weird. Mm. You got my brain cooking, guys. Okay, then. Either way, leading up to the Temple of the Ancients part, I've always been hoping we would get uh, a big, like, insight into the. Uh, Etc. Right, right. Hope we get some cool flashbacks for them. That's one thing I was hoping for in my head. <laughs> but you know, thinking Cloud Soul Psyche. You know, if if he's intuiting and he's, it's going to start feeling her death coming up. My biggest whack out with the ending is what Cloud may or may not try to do. And if he does straight up save her, that would be wildness. Where am I going? So so many parts of this mountain. There's so many mobs. I'm loving this. It's on you. Come on. This is a marathon. I'll take care of them. Come on, get your arcane new glass. <laughs> so gravity's coming if I cast. Oh. Yay! Arcane Ward Mastered. We're in the money! My oh, are staggered. You can get. Yeah, wow, Soul Drain just ripped. Ripped mana. Ripped damage. Very nice. Be kind of crazy if doing that. The ending. If Aerith, if Aerith does get returned to the live stream, whether all the things that the whispers and maybe either the nefarious souls that Sephiroth assimilate, if she does get all of her memories back, that would be kind of cool. I'm hoping for big Aerith, goddess Aerith art. Like, Massive power, and that's why that's why I also it'd be kind of dangerous for Sephiroth to return her to the live stream. 
again, all the events that have happened in the compilation have happened. They still have happened. Aerith becomes basically live stream mummy. Like big live stream mum. Oh, I need to swap to Lumina Shield now. So I feel like killing her and returning to the live stream would be dangerous. But if Zack's end is not actually the live stream, and Zack's end, like my theory is, is that he's actually in a purgatory plane, and that technically would be confining her to a Clypoth. Yes, I'm bringing out the Clypoth idea again. I like the idea of a Clypoth. A spiritual husk, a plane of spiritual reality that has been twisted by angels of destruction. And it's essentially be a spiritual prison. Oh shit! Oh shit! Sephiroth is. Sephiroth? He's become a jiu jitsu sorcerer. And he's created Domain. All of Remake. It's Sephiroth Domain expansion. Oh! Oh! Legit. That's my idea. Clive Poth. Clive Poth. Alright, Clive Poth. Clive Poth from De Devil May Cry. Yeah, you also had Clive Poth in Persona as well, in one of the dungeons. Uh, that comes from Habilistic lore. Hiker. Uh, there's a hiker around. We've got to greet each other, it's proper. Alright, where are you, mate? I'm calling Fox and I'll see you. I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other. Where are you, sir? I need to put my headphones in. Maybe I can locate him and sound. Oh, there he is. Hikers these days ain't got no manners. Well, Dude, shut up. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. <laughs> Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick... The main expansion. Yeah, yeah. Sephiroth, the main Cyrus. expansion. <sighs> Hikers these days never learn to greet each other or something. Ran into a sprightly little lady too. Now she was in a real hurry. Couldn't even say hello. I have met bikers and backpackers who are just like that guy. It's when I went on my bike packing trips. It was always cool because the start of all the big trails was always always start with the backpackers on foot. Um, and with about a day or two of riding, they would fall off. And obviously, you can cycle much further than you can walk. But my god, those first few days on like, some beautiful like parts of the trails. God, backpackers would just want to stop you 24-7. They ain't even here for the hiking part. They, they just here because they're sad and lonely. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember these mobs. Oh, these dudes. Ah, oh, I've never done a first strike today. <laughs> I need to do more. Yeah, bang, bang, boom, manga. Let's assess these fools. What are you about? Nice. Push deep. Chilling roar! No, that wasn't chilling roar. <laughs> Ah, red! Right, come on. Come on, lads. Alright. Ah, I didn't swap. Uh, ah, 
I didn't swap. I'm gonna just get a uh, mana, mana back. Stagger! This one's for you. Get no, not out of bounds, not out of bounds! Don't you dare. Another one? Oh yes, nice nice Ready? <laughs> Damn, these mobs are Woo. slowly trickling me down. Where is Wash Day? You think of looking for homes? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a home and become an Amer American. American. I'm gonna see what this whole American dream you guys keep going on about. And I'll do a review video. <laughs> My review of the American dream. Is it real? Is it as dreamy as it seems? Do you, in fact, need to be asleep to believe in it? Or is it legit? Is it the best country on the world? I'm gonna find out. Alright, let's get... Wizard's Rod. Alright, so I've mastered everything else. A good day. A Good day of accomplishment on stream. Washington, if you enjoy endless rain. I do enjoy endless rain. I actually like rain. Uh, Sip. Alright, I think I might have actually got enough zinc ore at this point to make some... Yum yums. Nice. Let's do it. Yeehaw! Alright, fortress armlet. Right, who's that going to be good on? Okay, I mean decent defences. Some extra little bits of numbs. Do uh, ah, these are all pretty decent. Pretty decent. I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's go. Won't take long. Don't overdo it. Or what be this little building? Nothing. Nothing. I feel like there's a boss. Uh, it'd be good for a boss soon. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. 
Chin was in town. Oh, are. Oh, no. Jin's mate. Oh, look at this legend. Oh, legend shall speak of El Ginger at World's One, End. One bit of pineapple is mine. Could you do me a favour? So, guys, Brie had to load my game today because she's saying that her save slots are starting to spoil. Could you just save for me? Just save a new... Should that be too much for Brie? No, look at that. Look. Jin just cuts up a little, a little platter. Don't eat it all because I want some. Oh, this is for both of us. Well, yeah, because well, I'm taking that into Brie and then... Mm -hmm. Can you can have some of that. Mm -hmm. mm. Can, can you save? Sister, save and load. Yeah, save. You do a new file. New save file. I don't want to see. I think there's spoilers. Can you guys confirm looking at three save files? Are there there's any save spoilers? files? You don't know how to save again. There's no save file option. Have you taken up too many slots? Oh, maybe. You go and. Save over one of the... You're chapter 7, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Is that the right one to save over, guys? Is that okay? June on region, Gates Rotch. I can save over that. Mm -hmm. 9.43. Yeah. Save it. What is that? It's so pink. Don't eat all of it. Dragon fruit. Were there spoilers in the save files, guys? Mm. Hopefully, those of you who didn't want to be spoiled took the hint and also looked away. <laughs> Am I the only one who just saves on one slot? I usually have maybe two, max three. Oh. <clears throat> Me and Bri are playing on the same. <laughs> oh, this can't be broken. So it's a bit sketchy. Why are shimmy in town? I'll show you what I can do. Get him! Oh, Get him! 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 And shut I want a boss mostly so I can just summon Alexander finally. <laughs> I wanna summon Alexander! Man, dragon fruit's so yummy. I love it. It's good. It's good, right? Go on, slap another bit in the schmacker. You gotta be careful though, because it's Oh, alright then, just deny me. You said I was finishing that bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a save bench, there's a phoenix down. The game's acting a bit sus. Boss battle levels of sus. <laughs> Why are you giving me a rest bench and some Phoenix Downs, eh? Hmm? You little buggers? What are you planning on doing? Right. I should actually cash in some of these folios on these three. Hey, all this. That's right, I'll slap this one bit and we'll rest. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's this? Wildfire, Max MP. Wow, 10% while in Punisher mode. Right, 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 right. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think I've done a single Punisher mode counter. So basically, you just got to go in Punisher mode and do a block, right? A timely block, and then it does a counter attack. Ah! Controller! Fine. My knee. My Aerith. What can we get for your lassie? Heatwave. Ooh. Yeah, well, I don't know how I feel about these like free MP abilities. Obviously, it's great to get the uh, element if that gives pressure. Some of them do like okay damage. Wow. Magic defense by 35. Come on, that's. That's a high number. But we're gonna, we're gonna have to get that. A little free roll and thunder. All right, red. Iron defense. Mm. 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 That could be pretty good for everything red right now. Well. Right, let's go. Right, what we can when we can. Uh, got enough cushions. And the materials they sell always suck ass. Okay. Here we go. The synergy ones are good. Yeah, I try to unlock the synergy ones wherever I can. We're doing a Turk fight. Is Reno? I can't remember in OG how long Reno's out of action for. Actually, is it, I think it's around here that he starts. He comes back. Because yeah, you go to the. Was that over in the uh, Cosmo Canyon region? But you go to the little reactor, I mean... What? And then you have Rude show up and that's the first time you hear that he's got a crush on Tifa. And Reno's back at that point, so... And my boy Reno getting out? No, no. Ah, oh, it's Helena. It's Helena still. Out you go. There's so many clones. Again? Well, look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So. Here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Next? Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're since... here... <laughs> yeah? We're doing this? Oh, shit! <laughs> Eleanor is such a brat, man. Such a goddamn brat, and I love it. Well, Rude and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. She? Oh, oh god. <laughs> now play nice, shitbirds. Shitbirds. Fuck you. <laughs> shitbirds. <laughs> Man. Uh, Eleanor, every time she's on screen, I'm, uh, I'm really liking her. She's cool. Is she going to become one of my favorite turks? Maybe. Oh, weakness. All right, so that's thunder then. Ooh. Oh, this is a, a, a bit dope music. This is the good stuff. Right. If, if he's gonna be throwing stuff, 
I can just put a luminous shield. I'm gonna see how strong I can get Aerith. I'm gonna Arcane Ward, I'm gonna put Luminous Shield, and I'm gonna put my uh, Radiant Ward on, and I'm just gonna slap. Good lustrous block, even on something like this. Oh. She cast it the wrong way. Safe! Safe! Right? Nice! Oh my god! Lustrous! Shield! Alright. He peeked over the shield. It's a bit cheating. I'm standing on fire. Ah, fire. So I can stand and fire from casting this because it makes me new. Zero, zero, zero. Wow, that's great. That's great. Anti-personnel gas? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no, I put, put clouds to sleep as well. Oh god, my whole team's... Ah! Ah! Everyone's gone snoozy bye bye. I think I... Ooh. Wow, you are pretty immune. We're in charge of this. Oh no, my, my shield's down, my shield's down. Thank you. You're welcome. Your shield's now. Plus, the shield is the, the tits. Ah! Right, let's get some focus thrusting going. We're ward shift back over. Yum yum. Big. Sorry, but I got lend me your strength. Wow. How much damage can we get down? Don't stop now. I might say far work blade for something yummy. Are you going to be safe behind here? Oh no. 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 <laughs> phase two, phase two. I'm, l I'm learning the way of ways of the air reef. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, he's going straight through my lustrous shield. Aerith, healing wind, love. Nice, nice, nice. Jesus, Cloud. Come on, get that shield. Does it matter where last year's shield face is? I think it does. Let's get those boys going and 
Someone's ready. Shit, it's Alexander time. What am I waiting for? Where are we get? Oh, I need two. Two bars of ATB. Oh, no! No! Here we go. Got oh, firework blades still. Keep it up. It's all up to you. Tracking beam. Go for it, Alex. Where, where is this big fucker? Oh, 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 here it comes. I don't want to kill this before uh, we see Divine Judgment. Uh, I'm just going to have all of the cure. Okay, that's unblockable. Right, this falls down to divine judgment. That's is it. Oh wow! Oh wow! That is big damage. Right, we're just gonna run around. Oh! Yeah! Look at it! Look at it! It's glorious! Ooh. He's dead, right? Yes! Very nice. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? That's good time. <laughs> Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. <clears throat> Alexander stole my kill. Alexander took all the EXP. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. Just call it huge material, guys. As Why you are Magnus? aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. Congaga. After analyzing the data from each site, we found Jesus. the spikes stem from. Sorry, Jin's trying to give me dragon fruit. Man. That's the rest of that, please. Freeze, freedom, and wait till. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> The arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, weapons! A weapon. Based on available information, it would seem so. They Which one is that? appear when the planet is in danger. Safa? And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. Dog is we'll freaky as fuck. Once that materia is out. Dog star looks nuts. This is ridiculous. 
Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain... Sorry, just give me a second. I'm a man now, and I have a girlfriend, and I cannot make any kind of comments. No comments. Oh, what? So uh, instead, I'll ask you, Jit. What do oh, you think of Scarlet? Who's Scarlet? The lady speaking now. I don't it? see it. All right. You'll see her. Keep your eye on the screen. Let me, just let me know what you think. Naturally occurring specimens as well. <laughs> well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. All right, okay. Mr. President, please. Go on, mate. What is this really <laughs> about? Wu Tai is after them. Wu Tai is after the weapons. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Bob was just like, ah. Uh, yes. What can I? Uh, what, uh, I'm There's just a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you Go can on. speak on his behalf. Go on, Ravy boy. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend, or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. <laughs> Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him. Oh, oh, that's a loaded one. Oh, fuck. Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. That's it, boot lickers. Man, Dark Star just freaking me the hell out. Curious, Wu Tai are going after weapons. Shinra going to actually try to capture one? That's, that's madness. Madness! Well, why are they up at this point? When did the first... Yeah, the weapons did not appear until we hit the northern crater. So... Again, I, I've thought about this when I saw it in the trailer, but that confirms it, because when we saw it in the trailer, he saw one in what was that floaty, floaty space. I didn't know if she'd had some preemptive live stream drop or something. But no, they're, they're awake on the planet at this point. Which either makes sense twofold. The threat of the planet is obviously much greater now. So they've just woken up sooner. Or we're in the freaking live stream. We are in it now. Or it's been corporealized. Some or maybe it's none of that. Maybe they're just like, you know, the weapons, the, 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 with the pacing of the story we're telling, we're just going to have them in there now. <laughs> but regardless, that is a very accelerated timeline for them to be here. Okay, my, my headphone's dying, so this is really annoying. Um, freaking Zach! Zach! Oh shit, okay. I think I'm going to have to play this out loud. Might be a bit annoying because you guys might hear an echo. Um, but hopefully not. We disconnect. Disconnect that. We 
Okay. Yeah. Let me in. Right. Did, did you hear an echo on "Let me in"? Is that okay? Shit, yes. Zach, round two. Oh man, it's sad to see him just tramping out. That's some Zacky boy. Oh, he squats in the menu. He squats in the menu. Look at this lad. Wait. Am I tripping? Where's Zach's? Where's Zach's scar? Where's his scar? Zach's little X-shaped scar. What the fuck? Wait, let me look at his actual face. Is it there? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's on the side. Was it that much on the... Oh, all right. Man, I thought it was more front and centre. I didn't realise it was like, all the way back here. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know why Rufus asked the guy, why did none of you try to stop him? I mean, you know the answer. I guess he was just exposing that. Your greedy, self-serving, cowardly tricks. Uh, but President Shinra wouldn't have been able to be stopped anyway. Right. Come on. Right, rather than letting anyone in, I'm going to... I'm gonna bug up, bugger off. <gasps> coma spaces, coma spaces. Their spirit bodies have left and gone to an alternate spiritual plane when they travelled through the portal. So everything we're doing in rebirth, because rebirth implies being reborn. Which is your soul going into a new incarnation. So we're all in the live stream. And that's why the weapons are awake. Fuck. Oh Zach, take the opportunity where you can. Kill Cloud. He's trying to steal your girlfriend. Right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. Here we go, here we go. Elmira Zach meeting. Yeah, that. Here we go. Fanfic territory. Full blown fanfic territory. Absolutely nuts. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've yeah. been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Of course they have. Elmara, don't be a dinkus. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... Oh, yeah. And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the... <laughs> no, you haven't. Look at him. I can smell his shit from me. He's covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do they still poop when they're in this state? I wonder. Do they still eat? State you've left her in. You the didn't state. Even wipe her face, for goodness sake. Oh come, on. Elmira, ease up, ease up. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, it, this is you pretty harrowing. Worried. And now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. Dude, he's he's doing his best. But you could have wiped her face, bro. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah. I love I this. Can do that much. I love this. That's I'm, Aerith. Materia is still white. The materia is still white. White confirmed. Uh. Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! 
No, not this kid. She okay? Oops, that's it. <laughs> Oops. You're okay, right, Aerith? Aerith looks good when her hair's down. My heart is actually thumping. I need to calm. Hey, Elmira. Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Big ominous rift in the sky. Ginge, why is there that big ominous rift in the sky, mate? Um, what say ye? Alternate realities. Summing. Summing's broken. Something fundamental is snapped. So I, yeah, I guess this is what this is. World of Chaos line. World of Chaos line. World's ending. Big rift in the sky. Can't wait to dissect this game after I finished it. One thing I love is Square. Uh, very big on symbolism. That's all they gave us. That's all they gave us. <laughs> Just a little, not even a full carrot. Just a fucking. Which way do you think Midgar is? A little cut of a carrot. The east of here. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Yo, can someone tippity tap in the chat? I, wonder how my mom's I think my chat's, my chat's frozen. It has frozen. Okay. Oh, I want to see you guys' comments. Okay, okay, okay. I've missed a load of comments. Uh, give me a sec. Our favorite puppy. Hell to the freaking yeah. The puppy is alive! Or he's not. And the live stream is just corporealized. But I don't know. Again, Oats being there and certain other characters. Again, I think that there is a character we've seen on both sides. I don't know, is anyone alive on both ends? Have we seen that yet? No, spo no spoilers for anyone I've not seen yet. My mind's trying to think. So again, if we have two world lines and the live stream is split, can a soul be in two places at once? No, that's why their, their souls aren't there right now. So their bodies are, are comatose. So does that mean there isn't an Oats on the other end? Just like there isn't a Yuffie on this end? Why is Yuffie on that end? How did that get decided? Andrea and Madam Emma, are they here as well? But are they as well as being on the other side? How does that look like on Soul Mechanics? Fanfic, Zek X Myra. I knew it! I knew those would start. Ship Elmira X Zack instead. Is that a thing? Of course it's a bloody thing. Hope and snow was a thing for Christ's sake. Hope and snow! Her face is clean. I know! <laughs> what the fuck? Her face is clean. Cabbage cloud engaged. <laughs> Maybe in Elmira's rally, Eric's face is dirty. Do you think that's the hint? On which world line is Eric dirty? Kind of reminds me of kites from twelve, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Need a week, <laughs> a weekend at Bernie's moment. <laughs> I've I've still never seen that weekend at Bernie's. I only know of it from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Right. Purgatory has a glitch. Purgatory has a glitch. It's literally the same shape as the crack in Doctor Who. Right. Oh, you're right. Yes, Kyrie. Kyrie is active in both ends. Quite right. I, I knew there was someone. Oh. So there's a there's a yeah there's a Kyrie up. Zach passed, bowed off to her for a bit. She's over on the other side. So I, I have big questions with that. How does that work? Oh my god. Yeah. 
If all the life of the planet returns in an endless cycle, does that mean history will inevitably repeat itself? Well, I think they've tried to set up that it has been happening, right? The Cetra scene that we saw um, in the VR sequence, what we saw was those stone pillars. And there was the same number as reactors. And then we saw them decay. And then we saw Midgar with the, uh, yeah, with the reactors come up. So there's some like cyclical Ragnarok life death cycle theme happening. Like I said, I wonder how long that's been going on. Have they just switched the Cetra from being like ancient Egyptian depiction to nomad depiction or did uh, what they called those big pillars that the Egyptians had? Obelisks. Obelisks, yeah. Maybe like the Egyptian Cetras had like obelisks there and the nomads Cetras, they had like Stonehenge shapes and now with modern tech, uh, modern tech, we have the reactors. Uh, Curie is Jove confirmed. Well, that's what my brain gets a ticking on. Like, is there, is there a fake one? <laughs> is there a fake Curie? She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for that. Because I mean, I mean, it kind of works in terms of the fact that. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm fucking rambling. But when it comes to like soul mechanics, like can a organic, authentic soul be in place at more than one time? But then obviously you've got Genova who's been in the live stream assimilating souls. And so just like Chadley can essentially, you no, know, data mine and, and recreate, say, Weiss, for example, and Weiss's. I don't know if you could say it's a, it's a digital soul that's there. So if you have like a digital soul aspect, then if you've got Genova, that can obviously mimic. It can read all the data of a person's soul and then mimic it back, indistinguishable from the original. So, so there's a few ways you can like artificially clone or replicate a soul. Oh, fucking no, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Wow. Weird, Weird her intuition is talking about. Is that just a coincidence that that conversation is happening? Or... If she, is she live streaming, tuiting her adopted mum? Oh, she's nearby, so I'm having a thought of it. Anyway, we're kind of at that stream time. Um, I don't know, three hours. So should I push a little further or should I leave it Leave it here? What, what, what say ye? Oh, the stream's working again. Uh, chat. Maybe push up one, one more step. I have so many questions. So many questions. So the Turks didn't harass these guys. Just, just us. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry, we're late. You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. I'm supposed to believe that uh, Baron caught up with Yuffie. And also, my question to you guys is, when you were running up ahead of us, why didn't you clear any of the fucking monsters? They just left the gr grunty work to us. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, down here. No, that's back the way. Lol, this way. The item clipping in this game is... <laughs> is is too much. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. In this part of the game. Don't you have some sort of like griffin nest or, or something? That's oh, it. that is cool. 
the Corel reactor. Wow. Wow, it sunk though. That's curious. It wasn't sunk in OG. The coral reactor was still up and, and largely ticking. I don't know if it shut. Had, was it completely still running, the coral reactor? Or was it just offline but still standing? Either way, this is, this is different. It was very, very different. This is a good spot. <clears throat> right, let's let's see what happens here, and then we'll. Hey, so what's the we'll deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. <sighs> well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was. Pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. The old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wu Tai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodrock's team showed up. Whoa. Three Whoa. ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Oh! Oh! Glenn's got two dudes with him. Is it the same number that he had in uh, the Before Crisis game? Uh, there were two others. I don't remember how, I don't know how many other squad members there were. Interesting that happened at that point, the ceasefire part. So that was a while ago. That's quite a few years. So old Glenny Lobbrook, he's been he's had his fingers in the Wu Tai Pai for a good number of years at this point. Okay. Wow. Well, well, well. Lobbrook! His squad saved Wu Tai from those senile old fossils. Paved the wow. way forward. They didn't do it alone though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, BAM! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the oh. interim? Hmm. Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? I know. Sounds... Sounds like you're helping out Sephiroth. I don't trust it. I don't fucking Just trust it. There. Let's get going. Yeah, I always wondered, even, even by OG... Like... Compilation standards, was Yuffie eventually going to become... Wu Tai's leader. Is that ever on the cards? I mean, obviously by AC, she's she's not doing anything, but her dad was still around. Godo was still about. I don't know. What was Godo's position? Is it is it family line past, like imperial emperor or something? What was Godo's title? Was it passed through the Godo family line? Kis Kisaragi line. Gosh, I should probably end here, but just, just a bit further. Just a bit further, man. I really wish we could see the clones' tats. <laughs> Yeah, this place is unstable as shit. So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Take her in, yeah. Cloud. <laughs> Do it! It's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! Weapon? What's that? For real? Now? 
Straight up. Straight up. Really? Oh. Oh. No. Fuck. This is Sapphire, right? The design's different, but... What the hell was that thing? Less purpley, oh, Sapphire. Tutelary creatures set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. That ain't hey, happening, you cool. Ain't happening. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> I think these are proto weapons. Oh, interesting idea, syntax. Because we saw, we see some proto versions of stuff. Uh, what was cool about the weapons, same as like Minerva's gear, is that you know weapons. I know they seem less mechanical here, and more organic. You know, you got Hojo to about peeling back their flesh. I don't know the weapons seem more mechanical in nature uh, versus what that looks like. But yeah, we we had the uh, proto version of uh, Proud Clod. We had that as that special fight in OG. And I was like, there's a theme of, of technology and its evolution, and how it moves up, how it scales, and seeing proto versions of it, how proto stuff you know, will be, could be playing within the live stream as well. Because, yeah, the live stream also fundamentally has a connection with technology. Machines. <laughs> and how different sets of civilizations or humans now Rogue with the evolution of tech. Uh, uh, that, 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 that's a thoughty. That's a thinker. Proto weapons, man. A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Or Sephiroth. Me. Shinra. Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. Mm. So yeah, Sapphire and OG, yeah, had its head blown off by the sister ray, like point blank. Sapphire was pretty stupid in OG. It just swam up to Junon and just stuck its face straight down a cannon barrel. <laughs> Fucking blasted. But maybe it's not even like, maybe it doesn't have all the armor and stuff. Or maybe it's a younger version because, I don't know. Maybe if in OG Sapphire got yeeted, the weapons are weaker. Or maybe because the life, strong, uh, life stream is less strong. Its guardians are also less strong, less armored, more fishy, or maybe it's just a design choice. <laughs> but it's none of that. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm glad I'm just left, and then I'm done. And then I'm done. What a playthrough! We got many quests done. We climbed the mountain. Yuffie's hilarious. Barrett is actually more patient than I expected. <laughs> OG Barrett would have shot Yuffie by now. It's been a good time. Coal mines. <clears throat> Fast travels now available, alright, sweet. 
So that seems like a good spot to leave. Yeah, we're back into mobs and stuff. Cool. Have a little fire. Yeah. Alright, there we go, guys. Very juicy, very cool. I'm gonna be away. Probably tomorrow. As we're moving houses. Off to the resort. Um so yeah, I'll be streaming from a new location. Is this is this the town? Oh no, I'm not gonna go through that. I don't think we're there just yet. Uh, oh, can you can you save? <laughs> and let me see. Oh, the spoilers! Everyone, look away. So I should have alerted the stream. If anyone who's watching this and they didn't want spoiling, sorry. I should have said I'm going into my save file and there could be spoilers. Oh, Hi. you good? Yeah. You clear? Yeah. All right. Okay. Woo! So yeah, if uh, if I don't get on tomorrow. Um, it'll be the day after, and hopefully it will be smooth McGroove. We'll have good, sturdy, stable Wi-Fi. We'll set up. I think <clears throat> I'll probably be streaming in bed with Ginge because we've just got two little hut villa things. Um, nice. Some rooms, isn't it? No, I think they're they're two little two little villas. Where are we staying? Or there might be rooms. Star Loca Hotel. Star Loca. Yeah, it's rooms. It's not hotel. Oh, it's rooms. Okay. <laughs> so I've got, got a room for me and Bree. We're only there for four or five days and then Ginger's one. We're going to cuddle up in bed together and play Rebirth. It's going to be close quarters in the next place. But we kind of left it a bit too late booking, uh, booking an Airbnb. So we kind of had to make an emergency pivot. <laughs> As usual. Yeah, we need to book the next one much more in advance. How is the TV in your location? So the TV here is a bit juicy. What do you say? It's like 42, 45 inch? Yeah, uh, 42 inch. Maybe a bit more than that. Uh, the next one is a wee. <laughs> it's a wee little, probably about no bigger than a laptop screen, really. <laughs> so uh, not as succulent. Um, but hopefully it'll work. That's all I care about at this point. It working. But sweet, guys. Thank you for escorting me. This merry old journey. Anything before I dip dip a -roo. So you'll have a stream full of issues then? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I know. My setup's a little bit easier now because I'm just... Uh, rather than trying to run, like, mics... And separate cameras, which was bugging out the USB. I know it's not as good quality, but I'm just running off my laptop mic and screen. And it's all right. So I guess the job done. What year is this? I have no idea what year we're in. 2022, right? Something like that. Something like that. All right. Take it easy, guys. Ciao. Doodle. 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 Pip. That's all. Toot. Toot. Tutelary creatures. Goodbye, my tutelary creatures.